Hello and welcome back to the iHeat YouTube channel. Today we're doing a comparison video between the Valent Combi Boiler range. Over here we've got the Valent Ecotech Plus Remastered, the Valent Ecotech Pro, and then the Valent Eco Fit Pure. As you can see straight off the bat, size is different on each model and we'll go over the dimensions later on. First thing I'll be basing the video off is appearance straight off the bat. The Valent Eco Fit Pure, a lot thinner, a more cupboard compact fit boiler. The Ecotech Pro is older than Ecofit Pure. It has the same old screen and controls. It just looks like a big version of the Ecofit Pure. This is also reflected in the power output and flow rate, which we'll get to later on. And then finally, we have the Valent Ecotech Plus Remastered, brand new for the year of 2023. So of course it has the new flashy controls, the fancy screen, uh, the efficiency ratings are nice and high, and it looks very modern and classy too. This could easily go on display inside your home, Whereas these two, you're probably gonna hide away in a cupboard. For designated reviews on each of these boilers, do check out our YouTube channel page. We have reviews on all three. I just thought it'd be easier if we do a comparison video to save you watching all three. You can watch a breakdown and kind of weigh up which boiler is more suited for you. So let's get these off the wall. Let's take the cases off and let's get straight into this video. Next up, we're gonna talk about power outputs. What can these boilers produce? So the EcoFit Pure comes in three different kilowatt options with a 25, a 30, and a 35 kilowatt option. For this size of boiler, that's, that's rather impressive. Next up, we have the EcoTech Pro, which has a 24 kilowatt, a 28 kilowatt, and then a 30 kilowatt. It never made it up to that 35 kilowatt mark, which for some homes is essential. Then we have the beast, the Ecotech Plus. This has 26, 32, 36, and then a 40 kilowatt option, which is just a monster of a machine and only necessary for those really large homes or with loads of radiators or a lot of bathrooms with both baths and separate showers. Moving on, we then have the flow rates for each boiler. So the Ecofit Pure has flow rates of 10.4 liters per minute, 12.2 liters per minute, and then 14.2 liters per minute in the corresponding kilowatt options. We then have the Ecotech Pro with 9.6 liters per minute in the 24 kilowatt, so we're talking quite a bit less. You then have 11.7 liters per minute in the 28, and finally 12.3 liters per minute in the 30 kilowatt option. This is about right when you look at the plate heat exchanger. They are rather thin on both these boilers, but quite wide at the same time. Moving on to the Ecotech Plus, you have a much thicker plate heat exchanger, but it is slightly more narrow at the same time. This boasts flow rates of 10.6 litres per minute in the 26 kilowatt option, 13 litres per minute in the 32, 14.6 in the 36 kilowatt, and then 16.3 litres per minute in the 40. If high water pressure is a priority for you and you have good water pressure coming from the mains inside your property, the Ecotech Plus is the boiler to go for. If you went for the Pro, you'd have a lot less bang for your buck when it talk about flow rates. Your showers wouldn't be as powerful, but all three boilers, do not forget, are very powerful, and maybe it's worth going over a few similarities to make things a bit more fair. They're all ready for hydrogen. We sell all of them at high heat. You get a 10-year warranty on each model, and they're all, of course, from Valent, which is just a well-renowned company. It has great customer service, great installers, and it's just a good, well-renowned brand. You know, it's trusted, it has high reviews. We use them, that's always a good sign. Uh, and of course, they can all be used with Valent Smart Controls, uh, Nests, Hives as well. Uh, but if you want the most efficiency out of your boilers, always go for Valent Controls where you can. The next category for me is convenience. Which boiler is the most convenient inside a home? Now, this has to go to the EcoFit Pure due to its rear flue option and easy cupboard fit compact design. You can see on the video, the width of this boiler compared to this width is just crazy difference. The depth is a lot less too. In fact, the dimensions for an EcoFit Pure are as follows. Dimensions wise, you've got a height of 702 millimeters, a width of 390, and then a depth of 295. This means it can fit in that classic 300 mil kitchen cupboard, which can be essential when designing your kitchen or doing a conversion, or even just upgrading your current combi boiler. Next up, we have the Ecotech Pro. Dimensions wise, you've got the same height of 720 millimeters. The width is now 440 and then a depth of 338, which is slightly less than the Ecotech Plus. Dimensions wise, same again, 720 millimeters in height, a width of 440 and then a depth of 352 up until the 40 kilowatt model. The 40 kilowatt model has a depth of 386 and that must just be an absolute monster of a boiler. I'm yet to see it in the flesh 
a much thicker boiler will stick off your wall a lot more, but it has that high 40 kilowatt output. If space is a priority for you, the EcoFit Pure is no question the best option to go for. With that rear flue option, you can have a kitchen countertop straight over the top, which is just so much easier for installation. Not everyone's got space above their countertops to have a boiler, so to be able to put it underneath a kitchen countertop, maybe hidden away in a big cupboard, is always a great benefit, and that's something this can offer. Bear in mind that that will mean a flue will be coming out of your property at quite a low height, so a cage will have to go on it to make sure people can see it and not walk into it. Normally these boilers, the flue are nice and high and it normally clears a lot of headspace. So when you're walking outside your property, you don't bang your head. Looking at the spec sheets, the only major difference I can see is in the modulation ratios. Of course, with it being brand new, there is a lot more excitement around it. It does have a modulation ratio of one to 11, which is just crazy. And it does feature this new INI DTEC technology, which just increases the efficiency of your system. Next up for me is build quality. How well are these boilers built? Now there are two parts of this story. For me, it is the components throughout the build. So sadly, the EcoFit Pure has mostly plastic components throughout the entire build. When you look inside the EcoTech Pro and the Plus, a lot more premium brass components are used throughout the entire build. What's nice in this order, it goes plastic, a bit of brass, and then a lot of brass components, which is just reflected in the price mostly. You get what you pay for at the end of the day. For those confused, this basically just means a lot more durability in these products and the brass components will last a lot longer than the plastic. And of course, the more brass components, the better. Then for me, it is noise cancellation. Now, of course, all these boilers feature the quiet mark accreditation, which is basically where the boilers operate at a low decibel volume. It's always good to get a boiler with a quiet mark accreditation, especially if you have one inside your kitchen, a bedroom or a bathroom, as noise isn't something you wanna hear. You don't wanna be able to hear your boiler firing up every now and again when someone opens a tap or has a shower. But looking inside the boilers, you will see there is no insulation on the inside of the Pro case. However, if you look inside the Fit Pure, you've got a bit of padding on the left and right. And then on the Ecotech Plus, you have a lot of thick padding all around the inside, which just means it's a lot more quiet when compared to this boiler. But of course, this is a lot older and noise wasn't really a high priority back then, as much as it is now. Installation wise, it's pretty much the same across the board. At our heat, we like to say one to two days for any you know combi to combi swap. These boilers will all be installed rather quickly from our engineers. Whilst you're here, head to iheat.co.uk forward slash quote for an instantaneous quote on a next day boiler installation. It's a fixed price. We have over 6,000 five star trust pilot reviews and over 500 engineers nationwide ready to install your boiler the next day. Only difference is going to be with installation. Of course, if you go for a rear fill option, that's a bit more fiddly, but there actually is integrated filling loops in both the EcoTech Plus and the EcoFit Pure. This is just nicer. It'll look underneath your boiler. You won't be able to see a pipe coming underneath it. You have to open to fill up the boiler. The Pro has an external filling loop, which is a pipe that connects two pipes underneath your boiler, which on display doesn't look that great. And if this is going above a kitchen countertop and the pipe's just along the top, it, it gets a bit tricky and awkward to install. Finally, for me, it is scenarios and usability. Where in your life, what are your life conditions where you would need each boiler? For me, if you live in an apartment, a bungalow, a small kind of medium-sized house, the EcoFit Pure is non-negotiable. It is nice and compact. It can fit in that classic 300 mil kitchen cupboard, and it has that rear flue option, which is great to go underneath kitchen countertops, which is just a no-brainer, and it is actually quite unique for this level of boilers. Then you have the Pro, which is more competitive on the price side of things, and it is mostly made for small to medium-sized homes but things like a new build or a bungalow just aren't gonna have the space to fit this size boiler in. And to be honest, if you do have the space, why would you not go for the Plus? The Plus, of course, is made for medium to large size homes with maybe three and four bedrooms and you know at least two bathrooms with separate showers and baths. It's a beast of a boiler. It is rather big too. It would have to go inside an old airing cupboard in the center of your kitchen on display like mine, or maybe under the stairs like that alpha boiler we looked at a few months ago. Of course, price, this is the most expensive, and that is obviously reflected in the power and size of the boiler. But if it's in your budget, or you want to explore finance options, which we do offer at iHeat, I think this is the way to go. If you're wanting to invest into your future and you want to save on your bills with a high efficiency boiler, 
I think this is the way to go, although it may be a lot of money to input at the start. If money isn't your biggest friend, you haven't got the greatest of budgets, I would explore these two options, uh, but please know that all three are great solid options and this video isn't being made to slag off a certain one or, or put you off anything in particular. They're all from Valent, they're all beasts of boilers, and I would personally have any three of them in my own property. So that is it for the comparison video. I hope you have enjoyed. Any questions about each of the models, we do of course have their own designated reviews, uh, but leave them below and I'll get back to you in the comment section or make a whole separate video. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This has been our heat.